Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll consider sticking around by subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Today I'm going to be starting my peppers for this year and I wanted to share that with you. I am in zone 6B, so we have a few months until our last frost date, but I wanted to get these started inside so that they're ready to go for the summer. And peppers can take a little while to germinate, so that's why I wanted to give them a little extra boost ahead of like my tomatoes and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fill my seed tray with potting soil. Some people do use seed starter. It's lighter and fluffier and allows the seed to germinate easier, but I'm hoping not to up pot these. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my potting mix because it has nutrients in it to feed the plant until I'm able to get it outside. I just want to make sure I have the dirt even throughout my little seed pods here. Make sure we don't have any air in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and water this to get it started before I put my seeds in. Now I'm just going to let that soak in. The first peppers I'm going to plant are cayenne peppers. And I like to grow these to make the red hot sauce. So I'm going to put two seeds in each cell. So that would give me eight plants if they make it. Um, I went ahead and made out the steak already ahead of time so I don't forget what I have where. And I'm just going to sit that in the back of the row and then go ahead and put my seeds in. And the rule of thumb as far as how deep you want the seeds to be planted is about the same as the width of the seed. So if you can see how small that is, you don't want to put it too deep because then it may not germinate might take too long for it to get up to the surface and it might not have enough energy to do that. You don't want to put it too shallow because then the stems won't have any strength to them and they'll likely fall over and probably die on you. So I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, and put two of each or two seeds in each cell and then I'm going to cover them back up with the dirt. And if it's too many for you, if they all do well and you have some left over, you could give them to friends, family, advertise them on your uh, city's website. People likely would come and get them from you. Next, I'm starting sweet peppers. It's the Grand Bell Mix, and they are from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to get ahead and start two in each cell of these also. And like I said, I made the tag ahead of time just so I don't lose track of what I'm putting where. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to push them in and then cover them with some dirt. You want them to be, like I said, about the same size. You want them as deep as the width of the seed is a good rule of thumb. Next, I'm going to be starting my Nottapinos, and they are just jalapenos that don't have the heat to them. So I'm gonna be starting those. And I grew these last year, and they did pretty well, so I wanted to do them again. They are a repeat for me. And again, I'm putting two seeds in each cell just hoping that at least one of them will germinate. 
And again, if both of them do germinate and I run out of room, I could separate them and then up pot them also. I did it this way last year and it seemed to work out pretty well. So I'm gonna stick with that. My soil's still a little dry, but we'll add some water again in a little bit. Oh, there's our Nottapenos. Next, I'm going to be starting the lemon drop peppers. These are from MI Gardener. And I grew these a few years ago and they did really well. And I've been using those to make the um, smoked sausage, uh, the pickled sausage, like the Penrose. So I wanted to grow some more of those. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put two seeds in each cell just to kind of give myself a little extra hope so that if one doesn't, hopefully the other one will germinate. And these are really pretty too, so they're fun to grow. But we're just going to go ahead and put them back in there and cover them with some dirt. Make sure get them covered. The next one I'm going to start are the pepperoncini peppers and these are from MI Gardener. So I'm going to start a row of those and again I'm going to go ahead and put two in each cell. And if you get three in there that's not a big deal. <laughs> if you only get one in there it's not a big deal either. You just if it doesn't germinate, then you just have an empty cell, and I'd rather have too many in the cell than not enough. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and put them in there and cover them with the dirt. Might have been a little too deep, but... That's those. And then the last pepper that I'm going to start are the Buna Mulata. And I have not grown these before, but they're a purple pepper. I got these from Baker's Creek, and I just thought they were really pretty, so I wanted to go ahead and try those. Okay, so I, this is what I'm planning to grow this year as far as my peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and put the plastic dome over it and then put it on a heating mat. I have the heating mat sitting right next to my aero garden, so it gets quite a bit of light. Otherwise, I would put artificial light on these also to give them a chance to grow. Okay, so I went ahead and put the plastic dome over my peppers and I have it on the heating pad and now we wait. And then there's my tomato plant that I started. There's the other one from the Yum tomato seeds. So I'll come back and show you once we get some germination to our peppers. I'm also going to go ahead and start my birdhouse gourds. These seeds came from MI Gardener, and I'm going to be using the large pots that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I believe there was five or six in the pack, I can't remember, but I'm, I'm gonna use this for my loofah and my birdhouse board, but I'm gonna go ahead and put several seeds in here just to make sure that we have several that come up so that we can transplant them outside. They're not huge fans of being transplanted, 
once you start them, but because they take so long to grow, I wanna get a head start on them. I did have some luck with the birdhouse gourds last year. I do think, I think I ended up with four of them that I was able to dry over the winter and I think I'll be able to actually use as birdhouses. Now I had many more that didn't make it, but I had Googled and I it said that um, you could leave them on the vine throughout the winter to uh, dry and then you could use them later, you know, after they're dry. But we had an unusually cold spell at Christmas time and it killed so much of my stuff. So I don't know if that was the problem or if I should have just cut them off and went ahead and dried them. But I'll throw some pictures in of what they look like or what they looked like last year and now what they look like now. They do look kind of gross because they have like a mold growing on them, but it dries up and then you just peel it off. So it's pretty cool. I'm also gonna go ahead and start my loofah gourds. These are also from MI Gardener and they don't really like to be transplanted either, but because they take so long, they're a lot like the birdhouse gourds. They take a really long time to grow to where you have any fruit on them. And I didn't get any of the loofahs. I had some that looked really pretty on the vine. I thought they were big enough and they would be okay. But again, we got that very cold snap at Christmas time and everything just either rotted or they were just too small to use for anything. So I wanna get a jump on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start those in here. And I'm using again the big pot from the Dollar Tree to start those. And I started several just to give it more of a chance once I go to transplant them. I'm also going to start pineapple tomatillo. And I'm just going to put my little stake in there. I'm going to put several seeds in one of the cells just to um, hope that some of them germinate. I have not had any luck with these ever, but I'm going to give it a try. I've tried like a few years and just have not even gotten them to where they germinated. So I'm going to try them again and see. So I'm just, like I said, doing one cell with several seeds in it just to test it. And then I also am going to do one cell with the Tamarillo Dwarf, and these came from Baker's Creek, and I thought I could grow those in the green stock. My green stock was doing really well. The cabbage, the kohlrabi, the garlic, all of it was doing so well, and then again, like I said, with that cold snap at Christmas, it completely killed everything that was in there, so I have to start from scratch with that. <laughs> But I, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of seeds in this one cell just to hope that we get even one would be good <laughs> to germinate and then to make it until it's time to put it outside. Okay, there we go with that. I'm going to start two cells of the mini bell pepper and I got these from Baker's Creek but I thought these might be good to grow in the green stock also. So I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, probably three or four seeds in each cell, but I'm gonna use two of these cells. And this is a six cell seed starter. And I had bought uh, probably cayenne peppers last year from Lowe's, so I'm just reusing that. And then this bottom part of it that I'm using are the little seed starting trays that I bought from Dollar Tree. So the, the six cell pack fits really well inside of there and that way it can hold the water and then it also comes with the plastic dome that I'll put on top once I get my seeds in there. 
I am going to try to separate them out a little bit so to where if they do start to germinate, I can separate them easy and then up pot them. And then up potting is just, if you start it and it gets too big, like if you started it in this, it got too large, then you would want to move up to a bigger pot like this. So that's all up potting is. go ahead I guess and put five in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and bury them oops a little too close to each other And then lastly for today, I'm gonna go ahead and start two cells of the Blue Doll Pumpkin. Again, this is something that doesn't really necessarily like to be transplanted, but because they take so long, if I don't do it inside and get them started, I no way will have any. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do two of those and see how they do for the year. But that's all we're starting for today. I will be starting tomatoes and some other things soon, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will follow up and let you know how everything's doing, and I hope you'll come back and see me again. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Knox. Love you. I'm going to throw in some pictures of last year's uh, birdhouse gourds and the loofahs and then also uh, I'll show you the green stock what it did look like before it got killed by the freeze. Just wanted to stop by real quick and show you the green stock planter that I've been growing in for the last couple months. As you can see, my kohlrabi is doing really well, the cabbage, the garlic. We do have a few of the onions poking up, a few carrots. So that's where we're at today.